They said they was like, the elevator's not working. I'm like, no problem. I take the steps. I just want to go make sure my mother, my mother is sick. She bedridden. So I need to get up there. Earlier that day, the 35-year-old fell and cracked his hip on a set of stairs. Bro, this dude climbed. This dude was in need adrenaline. With a crack hip? He resorted to climbing the fenced-in balconies with wire cutters in hand. <laughs> Every ledge, it was like, well, when I grabbed the gate, at the top of the gate, it was a ledge. And then it was, uh, I can step on the ledge and then reach up. Y'all see this, man? The and then keep climbing my way up. Finally, Jermaine reached his 19-story building apartment Jermaine, with a cracked hip. Was contained and she was okay. Was she yelling at you because you climbed outside? She was more shocked. Right. She, she really not, she, she don't be surprised at things I do to her. She know I go over and beyond for her. So back down he went, expecting a... Yeah, this dude, that's a, that's a desire. That's a want to, that right there is a... That man made it a priority to, to get his grandmother. That man right there made a priority with a crack. He said, I'm gonna climb an apartment building with a crack hip to, to make sure my grandmother's straight. Psh. A man whose grandmother, a man whose grandmother was stuck in a apartment building on the 15th floor apartment building that was catching on fire that was trapped in there a man with a cracked hip was able to climb a 15 store apartment building with an attempt to try to grab his grandmother out I don't even know what was his thinking behind this that he was gonna like grab his grandmother and then or grab his yeah, grab his grandmother and then like grab her and then like I don't know how he was thinking like how he was gonna climb down with her in a trap fire but it's 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 not even about like the plan the idea it's the fact that this man like was willing to do that like the lens that he was willing to go to save his grandmother who was cons was in the middle of suffering right like was in a trap fire building right and I want and that, and that made me think right this man had a cracked hip and is walking on crutches but he knew that his mother's suffering was a concern of his so he made it a priority that i don't know how i'm gonna get up there i can't get there through the getting up there through the front door i can't get there through the staircase or through the elevators i'm gonna climb up there to get make sure she's all right but you know what because he loved her he he was he's deep out of love he did that because he cares for her right her suffering was a priority of his because he loved her that much i commend this guy for that so that makes me think when we're suffering right because this the scripture said god god meets our grief with compassion right because of his unfailing love so i know when I'm in a sense of suffering, of grief, and when things are going hard, right? Since God has a concern for me, and it's a priority of, it's God, my concern, my suffering is a priority of God's. It's important to him. And he's gonna, it's important to him to get me out of my circumstances. What does that look like? Like how important it is for God. A lot of times we're in hard times and we think that our prayers aren't being answered or it's, uh, it's not that important for God or the things that I'm going through, like God has bigger things to worry about. Well, I've been going through, this, going through this for so long that God must have forgot about me. Well, your suffering is a priority of God. It's a priority of God. It looks like that. It looks like that God there's all things that God has going on. Your your suffering is a priority of His. He will get. He wants to get to it. He wants to. He wants to help you. He doesn't want you to sit in that. It may not come when you want it, but it will come on time, right? God wants to get you out of that. God doesn't want you suffering long. God doesn't want you. God doesn't want you suffering forever. No, God wants to get you out of that thing. And I wanted to show you how much a man would do it. Like this is a man. A human, the, and the links that a, imagine the links that a human would go. A, hu, a man with a cracked hip is willing to climb a 15-story 
apartment building that's on fire to help his grandmother that's suffering. How much more would God go to save you? The same God that created you, the same God that formed you, the same God that the same God that paid a high ransom for you. God paid some money for you. You know what God paid for you? God's only son, his perfect son, his only son, his son who didn't commit no sins. God has sent his son to die for our sins. So my whole point in that is like when we're suffering, like right, when we're going through something, that is a live example of the greatness that God will go when we're suffering, we're going through things. This man climbed the building. So imagine the mountains that God will move. Imagine the things that God will do, the great lengths that God will go, the things that the creator of this universe will do just to help you in your suffering. So you can be encouraged. I know that although I'm going through suffering, help is on the way. Right? Someone who's willing to move mountains to stop time that will part the sea to help me. Right? That will cause things to happen in a divine timing for, for a time as this to help me in my suffering. If a man can do that, how much more can God do for me? I love you guys. I'm signing out. Hey, you're fine.